Good morning. My name is uh, Joe Anego. I'm with uh, Dallas Independent School District. My assignment is Engineering Graphics at W.W. Samuel High School. Today I have the privilege and the opportunity to talk to you about the assembly of a car piston. This exercise requires a high order level of thinking for students. The students who use the knowledge of analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. First of all, let me talk to you why we need to do this exercise. When you go to Walmart to buy a vacuum cleaner, they are not assembled. There are different parts of it that are being put inside a box, and you need to take this home and have them assembled to become a product. Now, this is this type of level of learning for the students to know how things are being put together to form a whole product. In this exercise here, we are faced with how to design and assemble a car piston. Designing is, as you can see on this board over here, designing involves activities that deals with facts and how to come with solutions that you can use to design and solve that problem. That means it involves the attitude, uh, artistic of the design, how good they are, and it involves the engineering design, what, what is being required to design that product. Secondly, we need to talk about a system. In this case of our exercise, we'll be designing a car piston. The car piston com comprises of so many parts, and those parts form what we call in engineering a system. A system has so many parts that are inter interrelated, and every part has its own function to form a whole unit so that the whole product can function, as we have seen in this simple example. Now, what the language of engineers is engineering graphics. We, we use that to communicate. In this aspect here, we will look at other areas of types of engineering drawing, as you will find here. We have detailed drawings, we have assembly drawings, and we have system or schematic drawings, which means it's a line diagram. Now, we will use, in our case, we will use the concept of all this here to put them together so that we can complete the whole unit. As we see, we need to go and look at what is called the ticks, which involves the scope and sequence that is used in the, in the state of Texas. Okay. In this case here, the student, will, this has, the student will design a product following these ticks. This text is being adopted in the state of Texas, so the student will apply all the concepts of engineering to specific problems. The students expected to use a variety of tech technologies to design the component. The student designs products using appropriate design process and techniques. In this case, for the student to put all these parts together, they must use a software called the AutoCAD software. The AutoCAD software is one of the best software that can be used and be applied to design this product. We will go to the next stage, what they're supposed to do in this exercise. These are the mechanical components to be assembled. We find here that we see one of the parts is, is the crankcase. We find the piston. We find the piston case. We find the wrist pin and the cone rod. It's the requirement of the students to assemble all these parts together to form a complete system or a product. When the student knows the sequence and they co how coherent they are and to put them in the right places, then we can have a product. When the students have finished, they will have a product that looks like this. This pro the one on the left shows a complete, a complete solid product of all the parts being assembled by students. Like I said before, no, when the students buy things from Walmart, they go home like a vacuum cleaner. They go home and then put them all, all of that together because accompanied with the inside the box of that vacuum cleaner 
is a documentation that shows all the different parts that needs to be assembled. In this case, for the students, they have all the parts of the piston, and they put them together using AutoCAD software to form a product. In this case here, the students can synthesize and can evaluate their own lesson, le uh, learning. Now, we give these students the opportunity to use all this high-order thinking so that they can be an engineer in future. Thank you very much.